What's going on, everybody? It is January 20th, Saturday slate. Um, only looking at the main slate, so I'm skipping the uh, the two earlier games. And I'm trying this out on the new PC, so I hope I've got everything connected and working well. Uh, Excel has sucked, which is weird. It's like oddly slow, which it shouldn't be for a computer that's six years newer than the one that I was running before, but whatever. Um, so we're just going to dive in now. We've got seven games on the slate. Uh, decent night last night. I was able to finish um, above the cut line in the, the big single entry that I was in, so I'm happy about that. Nothing crazy, just you know min cash, but I'll take what I can get. First game up, Hornets and Heat. Uh, Hornets hosting the Heat. Four, five? five? I'm really bad at math right now. They're definitely favorites. Uh, 104.25 implied total, which would be 10th. Um, they're four and a half point favorites. So let's check everything out here. Um, you know, Kemba's in a decent spot. Why is this so slow? So like if I hit enter there, it takes like two seconds to clear that. It's like the formulas are too slow for the future or something. I don't know. I don't have a like a crazy ton of interest there on Kemba, but you know, a little bit at least. Why this is just it's comically slow. I'll have to figure this out at some point in time. Um, but yeah, Kemba looks good. 7800 on FanDuel is a pretty tasty price. You know, you want him to get to 40. Most two recent games have been basically right on value. He can go big. I just worry about the pace of that game. Um, we'll go take a look at Dwight as well. Uh, I'm a fan of Dwight. 9100. He needs 45 to hit value. He's had four out of his last five games have been 40 or above. So he's been right at that area or higher. Um, the 9,100 is kind of prohibitive on Fandle, <clears throat> but he's only 7,700 on DK. Uh, you know, he tends to shoot a lot of free throws. Obviously not the best free throw shooter in the world, but uh, Miami puts people on the line at a pretty regular clip. So I actually think that he's a two on FanDuel for me. Like I hit enter like four seconds ago. This is this is comical right now. I don't even, there's gotta be a reason. If anybody has any idea why, oop, that's backwards. Um, four and it's like I'm, I'm typing on a delay. If anybody has any thoughts as to why this would be dragging so bad um, on like a brand new PC, as fresh, I fully wiped it, fresh install. Uh, the only thing that's on here basically is Microsoft Office and XSplit so that I could run this. Uh, I haven't installed any other software, so I don't know. It's gonna be something I'm gonna need to look into because I'm not gonna be able to continue to do this. It's going to annoy the living hell out of me. Batum, 5,500 on FanDuel. Uh, this isn't really the spot for me there. Same for Marvin Williams. I could see MKG being in a pretty decent spot on DraftKings. Nothing crazy, just a three, but I would take a look at it. Not too much else. It's it's a good matchup from a like a shot profile perspective, but I just it's such a it's such a slow game. Miami really limits um, fantasy points defensively, so I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and pass on that. We will go to the Heat though. Heat ninety nine point seven five implied total. Last on the night. I don't imagine I'm gonna have much of this. Um, I'm up in the air whether or not I'm going to even be playing tonight. Uh, the wife has a uh, going away party for someone tonight, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be around. 
I do need to play at least one lineup in the single entry series, but I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to focus the way that I normally would. Uh, ooh, this is the Wayne Ellington game. I like those. Ellington is 4,400 on FanDuel. He's 4,900 on DK. So you're looking for 22. Um, you know, he's right around there all the time. Takes a ton of shots. Has the opportunity to get hot. Uh, he's actually probably a two for me. I just love them. Now, it's because of the game, it's hard to say that. It, it's a three. Anybody else on here? This is just a, it's not a game you really want to have a ton of. Josh Richardson is 6,000 still. He looked great yesterday. Had a huge game. Um, a huge game. I mean, you know, he, he hit value, which is really all you need. Three straight games above 30, which is his value mark right now. So I'd be inclined to say that I, you still need to go with him um, i'd probably prefer ellington obviously they played different positions but james johnson 5400 and 5200 that's probably not a spot for me and then uh white side obviously went pretty ham yesterday 51 fantasy points back-to-back -back 50 point games um he had two 40s prior to that you need him to get to 43 um I don't have a problem with it. I, I just it doesn't jump off the page for me. Uh, he doesn't grade out well in my system. Nope, that's not his name. Uh it should be a 4. Okay. To the Pelicans, a little bit more interesting. Pels 110.75 implied total, which is third on the night. A little bit more interesting here. Alrighty, Boogie 11.4 on FanDuel, 10.7 on DK. He needs 57 to hit value on FanDuel. Done it twice in his last seven. Worst game and everything was 44. So it's not even like a complete sink. Um, nothing really interesting about Memphis other than just being a more defensively minded team doesn't seem like the place to go crazy I don't have any problem with cousins I don't I don't really have any problem with any of the big three guys here um, I like drew holiday as a three actually I probably like drew holiday as a two on DK that price of 7000 is really nice. You know, he, you need 42 for Drew to go 6x on DK. He's done that in three of his last four. A f he's got a 48, a 49, and a 54 in his last four. His most recent game was 34.8, which is basically right at 5x. Uh, Drew Holiday looks exceptional on, on DraftKings. I really hope that, uh, I'm, I'm not going to know this until I can check the video afterwards, but I really hope that every time that I, this is calculating in the background, that it's not like mildly pausing the video and screwing up the audio. So, look, hey, new PC, got to figure out the quirks. AD 11.5 and 10.6, that's expensive. Obviously, AD had the two monster 75 and 85 point fantasy games. He's just a three for me. And based on what I'm seeing and sort of the profile, I would prefer... I think I would actually prefer Boogie over AD tonight. It's close um, and mostly a coin flip. 
I'd rather just have that extra hundred dollars. I don't know what the rest of center is going to look like, so that could change. I don't really have a, a priority for either of them. And if you want Ian Clark on DraftKings, I would totally understand that. Memphis we go. I don't expect to see anything here that um, is fun to look at. Grizzlies 101.75 implied total is 12th. It's really weird. This, the, this new PC is like incredibly snappy at literally everything except for, for some reason, pressing enter in a cell in Microsoft Excel. Who knew? It's running the multi-threaded calculation, so I have no idea. Okay, Gasol, 8,300. Uh, you would need 41-ish. I don't, that doesn't seem like a good spot. Tyreek is 8,400, that would be 42. Um, I don't mind that. Only guy that really jumps off the page would be on DK. Um, and that would be Andrew Harrison. I guess that's why I was hearing some of that Andrew Harrison love yesterday. Uh, I didn't understand it, and that's probably because I was looking at it in a FanDuel lens. But 3,900 on DK. Um, there's, there's no reason to look away, but the rest of this is just trash. Um, there are better games out there. Like the Sixers, for instance, 110.25 implied total, which is fourth. They are seven-point favorites at home against the Milwaukee Bucks. Key takeaway for the Sixers and the Bucks today. No Giannis. And no Malcolm Brogdon. Couldn't remember if it was Brogdon or uh, Bledsoe at this point. But yes, no Giannis, no Malcolm Brogdon. Um, that's, I don't even know how to manage something like that, but we will take a look. That's what we do here. We look at data, try to figure out what it means. All right. Ben Simmons, 8,000 on FanDuel, 8,000 on DK. You would think that Giannis being out would be an incredible benefit for him. But he needs 40. I'll say he's a 3 for me. I wouldn't go anything further than that. Covington is 5,100 or 5,000. He needs 25. He hasn't been right lately. Um, but the price, you know, Ben Covington, it's shocking how bad I am at this sometimes. Which it really is. Um, I can't disregard that price. It's phenomenal. And even saying that he's been bad this year, using his weighted points per minute for the season, like he's still projected to hit above value today. Um, you just got to hope that he's not hiding an injury. Um, I don't necessarily love the profile of the game, but he looks good. Oh, I mean, most of the Sixers are going to look really good tonight. Uh, particularly Dario Saric on DK. He's 5,500. He would need 27. Um, he had 31 in the last one, has hit 27 in the past. For me, on FanDuel, he's a 2. And he's a 3 on DK. I can't keep up with this. This is awful. Had I known, I would have recorded this on the old PC. Joel Embiid... 10.5 and 10.4, so that's 52. Um, and 59 in the last one. I love Embiid here. He, uh, I think he looks great. I would rather have Embiid than Cousins in this particular case. He's a two for me. 
And then TJ McConnell, 5,100 on FanDuel, 4,800 on DK. Just a three. Nothing crazy. But he looks good. I mean, he had he only played 26 minutes in the last one and still got to 25. He's had 32 and 47 in his most recent games. Um, he just it looks really good. That would be the first game that I would want to have like a major chunk of. Then we've got the Bucks. Bucks 103.25 implied total, which is 11th. And like I said at the beginning, no Giannis, no Malcolm Brogdon. I can only assume that Eric Bledsoe is going to be the bee's knees. Let's check Wowie. So with Giannis on the floor, I'm less worried about balancing for Brogdon. I do want to see with him off, though. Not a lot of minutes with no Giannis or Brogdon this year. So most of what we're about to look at is completely meaningless. But obviously big boost to Middleton, big boost to Tony Snell, um, big boost across the board. So Middleton is 7,400 on FanDuel, 7,900 on DK. My numbers don't love him. I assume Fantasy Cruncher does. Uh, not like I would have assumed. Okay, that makes me feel that makes me feel good. I don't love Middleton either. That's not true. I don't love the price. He's a three. Um, I can't go anywhere else than that. I would just much rather have Eric Bledsoe. Bledsoe, 7,000 on FanDuel, 7,600 on DK. Um, he needs 35 to hit value. I'm For me, Eric Bledsoe on FanDuel is a one. He's probably a two on DK. Yeah, he's just, it's, you know, you got Giannis out. Somebody's got to take over. Bledsoe gets to the line a lot. Philly fouls a lot. Um, it's just a, a perfect fit. Tony Snell, 3,700. Um, you know, you just have to kind of look at him because he's going to get a ton of minutes. Whoop. John Henson, 5,200 on FanDuel. 4,600 on DK. Um, you know, I, I, I like that as well. Lots to like here. It's probably the, the last of everything that I'm going to focus on. Hence in just a three. Just a little worried about Embiid. Another interesting game, and one that I actually want to watch. Well, a couple games that I want to watch today. Sixers-Bucks would have been a great one, but if Giannis and uh, Brogdon aren't playing, I'm not so super interested. But Rockets-Warriors, uh, Wolves-Raptors, you know, both pretty exciting games. Uh, Jazz Clippers sneakily a decent game with Gobert back. But Rockets, 115 implied total is second. They are four-point underdogs at home to the Warriors. Um, I would expect almost a full run of Harden. Still no Trevor Ariza, still no Gerald Green. Uh, since they needed to try to have a little rumble. Chris Paul, 9,900 on FanDuel, 9,400 on DK. You're looking for Paul to get to 50. I think this is a, a decent spot for him. I won't have Harden at 10-4. Um, you know, you, you want him to be playing 34, 35 minutes in that case. He could go off, but uh, it seems a little inherently risky. Let's see. Paul. 
Uh, it's nothing crazy. I don't expect it to pop up much. Well, you know what? It could. Especially on DK. It's just a three for me, but... There's not a lot of value in these prices, in my opinion. Eric Gordon is 6,800. Uh, to me, that's higher than I would like. I know that he had a pretty solid game. You know, put up 42 in the last one. But it's not really my cup of tea. Mba Mute is not a uh, low salary any longer. I don't really want any of P.J. Tucker. Um, I wouldn't trust Ryan Anderson. Clint Capella at 7,400. That's the only other piece that I could potentially take a look at. Still just the three. We'll go to Golden State now. Warriors. 119 implied total. Gigantic uh, over-under in this game. And... The Warriors are favored by four in Houston. No news for this game. I, I assume that everybody's going to be playing. Which if that's the case, first up is Draymond at 8,000. Um, so he would need 40. I love it. He's had uh, one, two, three, four of his last six have all been 45 or higher including two 50-something point games. Um, I'm all over that. It's actually just a straight two for me. Just I, I really like this matchup for him. And then Durant is 10-7 on FanDuel, 10-3 on DK. Uh, that's pretty healthy for Durant. Um, to me, it's just a three. And then uh, I don't really have any interest in Clay at 7,500 on FanDuel. Um, he's 6,800 on DK. I don't have a ton of interest in him in that regard. Um, but on DK, oh my god, I'm so sick of typing on here and having to wait. It's really getting frustrating. I'll make him a three on DK, and then I'll try to re-spell uh, his name after waiting and waiting and waiting. But the guy that I'm interested in here is Steph, 9,500 on FanDuel. No-brainer for me. Um, he's a, a FanDuel two. He's 10-3 on DK, so I'm a little less interested there. but still a three. Now we'll go to Minnesota. Uh, Wolves, 109 implied total is fifth. They're four or three and a half point favorites at home against the Raptors. Let's see here. Wiggins, 6,000. I don't have too much of an issue there. Jimmy Butler is 9,400 on FanDuel, 9,200 on DK. You know, Toronto is a pretty difficult defensive matchup, in my opinion. Um... He would need like 47 for value. A couple 60s and 50s recently. It, it's not somebody that I want to just wholly cut out, but I don't really like it tonight. Towns, on the other hand, 9,700 and 9,300. I have a little bit more interest in Towns. Still needs a bigger night. Had 66 in the last one. Um still just a three for me i think there are better options at center in you know better game scenarios jeff teague 6100 now that's something i'm curious about he would need 30. uh he had two high 30 point games since he's been back um 
he's still just a three. And Taj, 54, which would be 27. Uh, quiet game, last one, but 37 in the game before that. Has the ability to get into the relatively high 30s, so he's still just a three. We'll go to Toronto. Crafters. 105.5 implied total is 8th. We fade into Rosen tonight. What's it going to be? DeRozan is 84 on FanDuel, 76 on DK. That doesn't look like a fade to me. You need 42. It's had... Uh, Two fifty point games in his last two weeks. Um, I'm gonna say he's a three for me on FanDuel, and he's a two for me on DK. I almost spelled that correctly. Would have been nice. I just like that 7,600 price point. Uh, Kyle Lowry is just a four for me. 7,700. You need him to get, you know, like 40 is a goal price there. Uh, he's been just under it. He's been quiet lately. Um, so we'll see there. Surge is 5,300. Like all these guys are just functionally okay. One guy I do want to look at is Jonas. Val and see you. Nope. Val and see you. Yes. There we go. Uh, 5,500 on FanDuel, 5,400 on DK. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, I don't really have any other interest in anybody on that for the rest of that. So we'll go to Utah. Jazz hosting the LA Clippers. 107.25 implied total is sixth. I assume that. Gobert is playing, but it wouldn't be like terribly shocking if he sat out on a back-to-back. -back. But as of right now, I anticipate him being in. Oh, I grabbed the Clippers. I was wondering why that still looks stupid. Try grabbing the Jazz now. I've had no coffee today. I can feel it. <laughs> so, first up is Donovan Mitchell. 8,000 on FanDuel, 7,500 on DK. I don't mind this matchup for him at all. Um, he needs 40 for value. Gobert being back is a little tricky, but, you know, I'd be lying if I said I didn't like this. I like it a lot, actually. Does... Puncher feel the same way. They feel similar. I'm actually going to say that I think Donovan Mitchell's a two. I like that a lot. Joe Ingles, I'm going to pass on. Although, congrats to Joe Ingles for having 23 fantasy points last night. <laughs> I want no part of favors. Um... Rubio is, is perfectly acceptable, as per usual. And then Gobert is 6,500. That's 32. He put up 47 last night. Did they move his price? I feel like he was more expensive yesterday. Just $100. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have any issue with Rudy Gobert here. Still just a three because you have to be cognizant of his injury, but I ain't bad. Go to the clips. Uh, Clippers, 105.25 implied total, which is ninth. Um, do I have this incorrect incorrectly? 
yet. No, we're not expecting DeAndre. Um, so there's some value out there for sure. We'll start with Lou Williams, 8,400 uh, on both sites. So that's uh, 42. I mean, the dude's had, there's a 50, a 40, a 45, a 58, a 40. Um, it is a little tricky against the Jazz, but, you know, Lou Williams is relatively carrying this team. It's him and Blake and, you know, mostly nobody else. Blake is 8,400, 8,600 on DK. So you would also need 42 from Blake. He's had two 40-point games in his last four. Uh, most recent game was a 38. I actually like this game for Blake. Uh, I think that he's a, a, a good matchup against the Jazz. Um, so I'm ready to go there. And then Tyrone Wallace, for some reason, his price doesn't seem to be going up further than 4,400. I'll be firing him up again. I know that he only had nine, 20 fantasy points in his last one, but, you know, 28, 41, like, the, the dude can score the basketball. Um, what does Cruncher have him at? He's uh, like a two and a half for me, if that helps you out at all. I can't just focus on a 4,400 salary, like, last fifth best guy in a starting lineup type guy but he looks good Taya Dosich needs 25 he had 33 in his last game he had 28 in the game before that um, I think he's a guy that's so much better when there's talent on the floor with him uh, having Blake and Lou Williams to sort of open up the floor for you I think is a, a great bet and then finally, we're going to... Well, actually, Montrez Harrell um, is 6,200 on FanDuel. I'm not super interested in that. But he's 4,800 on DK. I'm significantly more uh, interested there. Blowing up. Last game, Blazers hosting the Mavs. Blazers 106.5 implied total, which is seventh. I like CJ a lot there, especially on DK. 7,300 on FanDuel, 6,600 on DK. Uh, you're looking for 36 and change from CJ. 25 in the last one, but a 45er, a 38, a 41. I, I mean, that's just it's a no-brainer on CJ. Lots of shooting guards on my list today, which is kind of concerning. We'll see how that shakes out when I do the optimizer. Dame is 9,700. That's he needs almost 50. It's not like Dame can't get there, but there is no value in that price. Um, I guess you can call him a four on DK, but I don't, I'm not going to have any Dame tonight. I'm not interested in Aminu. I'm not interested in anybody else on this squad except for maybe Napier. Uh, 4,600 on both sites would be 23. Uh, he had 30 in his last one. Um, 25 game before that. He's at a 37. These are all with, you know, the other big guns. So I'm fine with that. I would rather have Napier than Lillard in this case. I should trade Lillard. Don't tell the Portland fans. To Dallas we go. Uh, Dallas, 101.5 implied total, which is 13th. Uh, expecting J.J. Barea to be back. So there shouldn't be really anything of interest here outside of a very specific like style play for one of these guys but um pretty thin on minutes right now so harrison barnes is 6700 on fanduel 6500 on dk you would need 34 ish um you know that's fine i don't 
I don't love it. I don't hate it. I just Harrison Barnes is what he is at this point. The, to think that he's a in theory max player, it's just weird to think about. Even though in in all practicality he's not. Um, Wes Matthews, I'm not interested. I don't think that I want anybody else that I'm looking at. No. So that's it. Uh, it's a pretty lengthy list, oddly enough. Uh, but nobody that I'm like over the moon confident in. But let's refresh it and we'll, uh, we'll give it a run and we'll see what pops out. So first up, we'll do FanDuel. I hope you guys like this not responding Excel screen. Who knows what is even recording right now. <laughs> I hope this recording doesn't suck. Uh, I just haven't had the time to like fully tweak it. I just wanted to get it running and make sure everything's going good. But you know, today and tomorrow we're going to be mostly spent working on this. Filter for the main slate. Add some rando to it. We'll do 20 lineups. Kablam. So, a lot of Covington, a lot of Tyrone Wallace, a lot of Sarich. All of that makes sense. Bledsoe and Henson. Again, that all makes sense. Makes me a little nervous to have so much from one game. Um, so, if this were FanDuel for me based on everything that I said, I would lock in Bledsoe and I would lock in Steph and then I would probably let the chips fall after that. Um, Covington ends up being in there by default, which I don't necessarily love because I know I like other guys on Philly, um, particularly Sarich. Sarge, that brings me down to five. Um, I liked Donovan Mitchell, so that would be my my look. Uh, maybe I need to take a deeper look at Sterling Brown, but I'm just not confident he gets totally enough minutes with those guys out. That's something that I'll dig into a little bit further. But right there, something like this is fine with me. Um, you know, I would, I would try to do a little bit more creative pivoting on Winslow and Valanciunas. I do like Valanciunas, but, you know, something built around Bledsoe and Curry as my backcourt would be my, the direction I was looking on FanDuel. You know, that's at noon, so we'll check out DK now. But yeah, no live show tonight, no live show on Sundays. Um, we'll be back live again on Monday. And, um, you know, videos each morning or afternoon, as the case may be. I get up at 4.45 every morning to try to record those videos. So I, I take my Saturdays and Sunday mornings pretty seriously. <laughs> uh, we'll go with just the main slate and add some variants we'll do 20 lineups let's see what we get Does that not filter out everybody no it's not Don't be afraid to uh, reset yourself, DraftKings. Are they out of there now? Yeah, okay. Let's try this again. I was like, Schroeder. I don't even remember saying his name. Okay. So there we go. Harold is in. That makes sense to me at that price. Um, I'm fine with that because it's going to allow you to fit other stuff. If we're talking bigger dudes, let's see, Mitchell, DeMar, um, 
I expected more Drew Holiday there. Not a ton of Embiid. Only one lineup with Embiid. No lineups with Draymond. This is interesting. No Dwight Howard? Nope. I'm flying in the face of it all here. I would go Bledsoe. You're going to get Harrell. You're going to get Covington. You're going to end up with one of those. That's really not... Not that bad. McConnell, Bledsoe, Covington, Cousins, Henson, Mitchell, Ibaka, Harrell. Um, I'd be fine with this one with Andrew Harrison. Kemba, Bledsoe, Covington, Harrell, Henson, Teague, Durant, and Wallace also looks good. I'd be fine with any of those DraftKings lineups actually for right now. But that's it. I hope that this video didn't suck and wasn't like choppy or anything weird. First one on the new PC. Um, you guys know the drill, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, thanks to all my new patrons. I, I really appreciate it. Um, things are going really well right now. I'm excited to keep it going. So have a good weekend, everybody. Best of luck to you today. And uh, I'll talk to you again in the morning.